You have only about a week to say your goodbyes to Bob the orangutan at the Greenville Zoo. So where is Bob going and why is he leaving us? To answer that question, we go live to News 13's Darren Botello in our Greenville News Center. And Darren, what's the story? What's going on? Well, Frank, it's hard for many of his fans to believe, but Bob is heading out west to start his own family. And he hasn't even reached his eighth birthday. It's kind of sad because we've seen him a few times. This is our third time seeing Bob. After next week, Karen Turner and others will have to head out to the Oregon Zoo in Portland if they want to see Bob the orangutan again. He's going to be matched up with a female from Cleveland Zoo. Uh, she's called Kitra. She is 12, so older woman. Bob is only seven years old, but Keith Gilcrest, general curator for the Greenville Zoo, says Bob, who's an endangered species, is ready to leave his mother and father, Chelsea and Maya. Typically in the wild, Bob would probably have left Chelsea and Maya here and gone off on his own uh, into, the, into the jungle to find his own mate. Um, so that's really kind of something that this move is also replicating. And Gilcrest says Bob's parents are ready for him to move out, too. On a regular basis, Bob and Maya roughhousing, and as Bob grows older, he gets a little bit bolder as well, which is, uh, which is another good reason for him, for him to move on now. Gilcrest says Chelsea and Maya, who are both in their mid-twenties, will remain in Greenville and could live through their late fifties. Turner says she still remembers Bob as a newborn back in 2006. His dad was like always up against the, the glass, <laughs> like hunched over, and he'd come running through. It was very cute. Well, Greenville Zoo staff is throwing Bob a going away party, and you're invited. It's this Saturday from 11 to 1 o'clock. There'll be cake, a model airplane will be given to Bob, and there'll be some banners. We'll have some information on our website, WLOS.com. Live in the Greenville News Center, Darren Batello, News 13.